breaking right now. We're getting reports of a closure. This is on the 285 ramp, and we're told it's because of high water. That's right. We, Madeline was talking yep. about these areas where water collects, uh, and that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Atlanta News First Meteorologist Cutter Martin's been following all that. He's at the First Alert Breaking News Desk tracking this for us. Cutter, what do we know? Yeah, first alert meteorologist Rodney Harris uh, was talking about this closure about an hour ago. It's been closed since 6 a.m. new. And again, information in a, in a severe weather event like this, it's constantly coming in to the Atlanta News First newsroom. Uh, Atlanta Fulton County Emergency Management saying that they got a notification from GDOT that that ramp 285 westbound onto I-85 southbound was closed. And the emergency management office did reach out and can confirm the city of South Fulton and College Park Fire Departments both were in the high water searching uh, for, for people possibly trapped. Now, what we don't know is if the did they have to take people out of their vehicles? Did they have to extract people out of the high water? Or were, were they just making sure that there were no vehicles in the water? What we do know is that both agencies did respond to that intersection. Big interchange, I-285 westbound at 85 southbound. Water was high enough to apparently stall vehicles or people could not leave themselves. Uh, so they are working to, to make sure that that is clear of any people. And uh, as Rodney was showing you, people are backed up on the elevated portion of the ramp, uh, only giving more evidence that that is going to be a big problem spot here uh, for probably not the next couple of minutes, uh, but through the duration of the morning commute. That's the big thing. Good news, though, that earlier tornado warning, again, watching the feeds here, not seeing any reports of damage with that cell that moved through Fairburn, uh, the, the South Fulton area, and then grazed the city of Atlanta. No report so far of any damage associated with that. But guys, we're, we're only about halfway through this, still quite a bit to go. We'll keep you updated on what we're seeing here from emergency management and surrounding uh, areas here coming up uh, from the Atlanta News First uh, breaking news desk, guys. All right, cut.